Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video you will learn how to get the Discord Active Developer Badge and to get the Active Developer Badge you'll need to visit in two websites which is first of all the one is Discord Developer Portal uh, which is this one and the other one is BotCoast which is this one. Both of these links will be given in the description below so the first thing you want to do is go in Discord Developer Portal and hit on this new application button and name your application or name your bot basically. So for me, I'll just name it Tutorial Bot and then click on this checkbox. Make sure you read the terms and services and then click on Create. Once you have clicked on Create, you will head over to this bot section and you will use this token in a minute. But what is this token? This token basically is like your password for, for example. If someone has this token they can use or manipulate your bot in malicious ways or you know to make or do bad things. And they always keep this token hidden basically. So we will use this token in a bit. Now head over to bot ghost and then click on create a bot. Once you have clicked on create a bot you should be greeted with this screen so just click on authorize basically bot goes is trying to access your account on discord and it's completely safe so you don't have to worry about it now once you do that you'll be greeted with this screen where you'll have to put this something called bot token so what exactly is bot token is this one the one I was talking about in a minute a minute ago so yeah click on reset token and then click on yes to it once you do that just copy this and then basically put it on the bot token box over here and hit on create bot once you do that after a minute it should load yes and in this section you basically want to click on this invite button this will basically invite your bot to your discord server and if you already do not have a discord server this is the time you'll want to create it and make sure you enable the community option so let us create our discord server we'll click on this add a server button and then I'll click on create my own I'll just click on for me and my f friends and then but if you don't know what exactly you want to do it you can also use this skip this quick sh question button but I just you will I'll just probably use it for this tutorial so I'll just name it tutorial server and I'll create this server once I've done that I want to hit on this drop down and I'll head to this server settings option in this server setting option I'll scroll down a bit and once I see enable community I'll click on this and then I'll click on get started once I do that I will have to do all of this if you haven't done everything already and then I'll click on next and then I'll click on general by default you should have a general channel and if not just tell it to create one for me and yeah same for this create one for me I'll click on next and then I when I scroll down I must agree with everything so I agree and understand and I'll hit on finish setup and once I do that this is done basically so after that I'll go back to bot ghost and then click on invite once I do that it's basically going to tell me to add to a server basically the bot we created on developer portal will have to add it to a discord server so I'll click on this tutorial server I'll hit continue and then I'll hit authorize we will have to do this capture and then once you're done you can close this tab and then you'll see that your bot is right over here you'll see that your tutorial bot the one we created is here whatever you have named it it will be there now head back to bot ghost and then scroll below you'll see this active developer badge click on this and then enable it there we go I, once you have enabled it save changes and then make your now go back to your discord you'll see that your bot is active like it's online right now and it has this icon so 
basically what you want to do is go over to your general chat hit on the slash and then you'll see that there it is active dev patch if not just type active or something and then you'll see this button ish thing once you click on this and then hit enter you'll be seen with this message command run successfully go to this link now to claim your badge you may have to wait up to 24 hours for discord to update its system so once i click on it i basically will have to wait for 24 hours or less to get this badge and this is exactly how you can get your discord active developer badge and thank you so much for watching everyone be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you can share this video as well take care